Fear knocked on the door. And from within, faith answered. And there was no one. When fear knocks at the door of your heart and wondering, the only response that comes from within is much more fear than the fear from outside will conquer your very life. But whenever you are threatened by the storms of life from the outside and faith responds from within in you, there will never be any answer from the outside. The scripture scholars have taught us that whenever we hear of the bold in the, in the Gospels, we must immediately think of the church. Jesus Christ in the boat, Jesus teaching from the boat, Jesus asking his disciples to enter to, to the boat to lead him. You must always think of the church because that's what the church is. The church is the boat inside the ocean. This church is built within the ocean of life. The ocean that is full of storms and heavy waves that threaten its survival, that threaten to drown it or drown those who are inside it. And so we hear that this very storm was tormenting the disciples inside the boat. And suddenly Jesus Christ appeared. And when he appeared, fear was deep inside of them. And they said, it is a ghost. That was fear talking inside of them. Did not, did not think it is the Lord. And that's what normally happens sometimes. Whenever you see something you do not understand, we are so quick to crown it with frightening names. If you see challenges of your lives as problems, and indeed you will be in trouble. But whenever you see problems in life and name them as challenges, whenever you, see, you get tested and you, you believe that one day this shall be, my survival shall be the testimony of the future. Whenever you see, find yourself inside a mess and, and believe that indeed this will turn into a message of the future. Then the faith inside responds to the unfriendly and hostile situation that, that knocks from the outside. And Jesus Christ does not promise us a smooth sailing. Our sailing is going to be tough. The sailing won't be easy. But what really matters is that we shall reach our destiny with Christ himself. But whenever these storms hit you, just like Peter, call out to the name of Christ, save us, Lord. And indeed, he will be quick to reach out to you and save you. But just like, just like, just like Peter, you and I are called to be adventurers. Peter, when he ascertained that it was the Lord, he said to him, Lord, if it is you, make me walk like you. Make me do things I've never did, did, I've never done before. Make me perform greater miracles. Make me come out, my comfort, come out of my comfort zone. Make me do wonders. And indeed, whenever you ask the Lord to do as he does, he will never say no to you. As he said to Peter, come. But as you come to walk like the Lord, and as many of us have done, we have tried to walk as Jesus Christ did. And, we, when, and, then, and then fear came back in our lives because indeed fear will never leave us. It will continue to torment us over and over again, but have the name of the Lord close to you, to call out to him, to revive your failing spirit. How many of us after we tried to walk like Christ, after we have, we have tried to be adventurous as the Lord, we were knocked by a few storms of life and we started drowning. And when we began to drown, some of us maybe we cast ourselves. Why did I become so ambitious? I could have been just an ordinary person, just like everybody else, and settled for the ordinary stuff of life. And I would have not gone through what I'm going through now. But like Peter, 
Do not hate yourself. Do not curse yourself. Call out to him, Lord, save me. Save me, Lord. How many times, how many times you have maybe tried a business venture and, and looking at your storms and, and begin to see it failing? And at that time you regret having ever entertained the dream itself. How many times have you have you probably wanted to try something new in your own life and somehow it landed into a difficulty or two, or two. and at that time you are tempted to, to let go and give up and say this is impossible. But Peter did not say this is impossible. He still says, he still said, Lord, save me. We must try over and over again and st until we master walking with Christ. So dear friends, the greatest enemy of any believer is fear. Because of fear sometimes makes us exaggerate even the ordinary stuff of life. Have you ever walked in the dark at night on the street? Sometimes even an innocent tree, you can glorify it and turn it into the, the most terrible serial killer in the world. That's what fear is capable of doing in human life. But faith tells you it does not matter whatever it is. What matters is that the Lord is by my side. And when the Lord is by my side, what more can I ask for? Lord, only, only if you are by my side, it is enough. Remember the song written by uh, Cardinal Newman? Lead, kindly light, I meet it and sight it I do not desire to see a distant sea, but keep leading me on. I love to choose my path, but it is impossible for now for me to choose the path that I want to, I want to take, but lead thou me on. That song, he managed to compose it because of he went through a difficult moment and he called upon the Lord and the Lord saved him. The greatest armament a Christian can ever have is faith. Faith in the living God. Do you believe that the devil exists? I did not come here to believe in the devil. I came here to believe in God. Do you know how many tricks the devil can try on your life? I do not care how many tricks the devil can have. What I care about is that the God that I call upon to, to uh, that I call upon is here to provide me with the strength I need to keep going on. That's what really matters. Some of us will waste the time of our life learning the devil the devil tricks in our lives and forgetting about the power and the love of God in your life. The love of God which is enough for you. So may the good Lord help us not to count the number of our enemies but num count the number of our friends. Never count the number of the grudges and the pains and the, and, the, and the difficulties and the gossips we have heard about ourselves but count the blessings we have received from your Lord. Because if we are here to trace the footprints of God in our lives and nothing else. And the footprints of God are clear, simple and straightforward. But the crooked ways of the devil are impossible to count. To count. And those who bother themselves to count those, you will end up mad. So may Peter inspire you. Lord, make me walk in the Lord, save me. And your God shall save you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.